Hey, sneaky Linux pad tonight. Tonight we've got Chameleon OS. I know you're saying to me, yeah, but that's Unity Linux on the screen. That's because it's a chameleon. That's what it is. So I'm going to give you a quick run through and you're thinking at the moment, oh, this is going to be really boring. But just wait and see, shall we? So on the desktop, there's all the usual stuff you'd get in Unity. No different there. Same one in the bar. But if we right click and go to change skins, here where it goes chameleon-like. So we're going to go down to, what should we go down to? Let's make it look like a Mac. And there we go, look at that. It chameleonized itself. Now basically it's just a skinnable distro at the end of the day, but it's all there for you. And if you like the idea of it and you don't mind Unity Linux, because it ain't a bad distro at the end of the day, it's super cool. Chrome image web browser, pigeon for your messenger, Slyford for your mail, Orage for your Orage stuff, Audacious as your music player, never like that one, but hey, if you like it, it's down to you, configure your computer, Windows and Trash. So yeah, looks a bit like a Mac, doesn't it? I could even get rid of the top bar there if I wanted to, just go back to the panel uh, settings, and you could just hide it whenever you wanted to. So that's alright, isn't it? So what else can you do with the skin? Let's have a look. We'll go to skins again, and we'll go down to, say you like KDE. Well, it's KDE free, but hey, KDE free is there, look at that. It just skins it to the distro or desktop that you like at the end of the day. It's all nice, hunky-dory. I'm liking it. Actually, it's one of the better Unity ones I've tried for over the past while or so. But it's all there, as in KDE. It would be. It looks really KDE-like, doesn't it? So, yeah, I like it. I'll open up system. Look, there's all my files and stuff. This is installed, by the way. It's not the live CD. Always runs better when it's installed. So there you go. Yeah, pretty cool. So what else have we got there under the skins? Well, what they've done, anyway. So we'll have a look. What one should we go down to? I know. We'll go down to... Redmond 7, which is Windows-like, and as you can see, it really is Windows-like. Really nice. They've put a fair bit of effort into doing these skins, so you know I'm not going to knock them for that. And if you like the desktop of Windows 7, for instance, you might want to just use Linux, but with that look and feel of Windows 7. It's your decision, it's your choice. It's Linux, remember, at the end of the day. It's Linux, you can do whatever you want to do. Don't take no notice what people say. This is the dark view. You might like it. It's a bit dark for me, but it's a nice background, I will say that. Everything's there in the bar. Look, there's my menu up the top. No different. I've got my widget bar down the bottom. All the stuff on the right-hand side. Time and sound. What else down there? Yeah. What else should we go to? We'll do another one. Then we'll have a bit more of a look at it. So we'll go down to... What should we do? That one there. Go back to Mac again. I'm not sure if I could live with that, actually, to be really honest with you, if I'm really, really honest, if I could do it from day to day. Because I've had one like it already, and it was a pup, so you know what I mean. So there's that file manager again, as I've just shown you. There's Chromium 4B web browser again, as I've shown you. I'll open him up and show you it's all there and works. Works really nice. Looks really nice on the background, so maybe I'm wrong that time. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? We'll go over to Bebica, because I live in Bebica land, as you know. We'll go over to the old home page. Ah, and on the top of the screen there is Nigel Lawson, the thinking man's cook, and we're going to see if we know a bit more of her. But you know what? No Flash is installed, so we ain't going to be able to watch that. You have to go to the package manager and install Flash yourself to watch all them sort of things. Never mind, though. I'll do that later when you're not watching. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. What have done here? Configure computer. Name I've said before. I've said it all before, so I'm going to do too much of it, really, am I? So, what should we do next? I'm going to change it one more time, I think. Right, so what should we go down to... No, I didn't want to do that one really, but hey, I'll do it again. I'll go through it again with you. Look, all the tools in there on the right, left hand side. X term, medit chat, that's all there, secure. There's loads of stuff in here. As the, It's too much in there really for a normal Unity Linux, but I normally download the bare minimum one. So this one's they put a bit more in really. So yes, the pigeon there, as I showed you before. Oh, Twitux for your Twittering and X chat. Very, very good. That's not bad at all, is it? I like it anyway. Anyway, system tools, configure computer, you can go down, loads of stuff there, your file manager. I put my password because when I do something rootish, don't we? Because we're a bit rooty. Oh yeah. So I wait for that to do its stuff, don't say it too long. And here is the smart package manager. Now I've already reloaded everything, but normally you would reload this like you would in Synaptic, no different at all. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'll reload it and show you that it does actually work. Sometimes like, it's checking all the things I've already done before, but yeah, it does all work. And they all update rather nice. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, what we're going to do, what should we do? I think we'll search for a program just to show you that the actual package manager works. So, what we're going to do, we're going to search for Record My Desktop. So, Record My D D D D Desktop. And see if it's there. And there it is, look, in video. 
So if we have a video up, we've got the QT and the GTK one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that, the GTK one. There you go, we'll highlight the box. Do I want to do it? Of course I do. I wouldn't have clicked the box otherwise, would I? So we click OK to say that we want to do that. So that's nice, hunky dory and all that. Now I'm not familiar with controls up here, but I think it's one near the end. So upgrade packages, no, clear, no, redo, no. Ah, apply it, mark, changes. That's the one I want to do. So we click OK there. There it goes. Downloads. Starts installing. It's really pretty quick, actually, isn't it, when you think about it. Really nice. And my, my internet's not that quick, as some of you may know. It can be very slow sometimes. So yeah, that's all installed. And we're all basically ready to go to see if the program's there in our widgely watsy woo one so to say. But yeah, it's pretty cool. If you go down here, it tells you all about a description of what it is, the content, the change log, what it needs, what it doesn't need, etc. The URL is where it's at, and stuff like that. So that's all there if you really want to get into it. Again, remember, this is RPM based, by the way. I forgot to tell you about that one, isn't it? RPM. It's not the Deb. Deb. It's RPM. So keep that in mind when you're using it. So that was okay. So what we'll do, we'll go down to menu, we'll get to Saturn video. There it is, we just installed it, we'll open him up, ta -da! and we're there. So yeah, all works hunky-dory, so we say. Very nice indeed. So if you want a skinnable distro, and you don't mind Unity, because it ain't too bad really at the end of the day, you might like this, because you can just change the skins to what you want, as you, if you can't be bothered to do them yourself, that is. Because you may be thinking, like a lot of us, oh, well I can do that. Uh, but this one's supposed to be GNOME-ish. Well, I don't think so too much. Maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. Yes, another one I think about. I'll do one more. I'll tell you what, we'll go down to the red one. There you go. I rather like that. That's rather nice, isn't it? Very good indeed. So, if you like a distro that's skinnable, and you don't mind Unity Linux with an RPM-based distro, this is the little baby boy for you. Or could it be baby girl, couldn't it, really? So that's it. Sneaky Linux is going out to play. See you later.